thank you, Lord God, for what you did, and thank you for what you're doing right now. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you would bless us tonight. I pray, God, that you would minister to everyone that's under the sound of my voice. Cause us, Lord God, to look past carnal thoughts, and God, to understand that we are in a sacred season. And we are going to behold the wondrous power of God. Pray that you would use us tonight. Favor us with your divine presence. And we will give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Everybody say in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. As we have entered into the year 5,780, according to the Hebrew or Jewish calendar, and the year 2020, according to the Gregorian calendar, there is a convergence of the vocal and the visual. Yes. There will be sight to sound. The year 5,780 is the entrance not only into the year, but the decade of the mouth. Everybody say mouth. mouth. mouth huh? The number 80 is represented by the 17th letter in the Hebrew alphabet, Pei. Pei. Which is symbolic of the mouth. Pei is the mouth. It has been prophetically declared that in the year 5780 and the decade of the 80s, there will be unprecedented power in prophetic utterance and activity in which God will not only use his people to speak what he has declared, but also to speak what they see. Yes. Okay. Psalm 8110 says, I am the Lord thy God that delivered thee out of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. All right. All right. So God is filling and strengthening the mouth to speak. Yes. To declare. Okay. To vocalize what you have seen over the last decade and what you see now. So the prophetic declaration of 2020 is the year and entrance into a new decade of vision or sight, more specifically manifestation and revelation. I need you to get it. Okay. 2020. Manifestation and revelation. It's visual, but not simply with or to the naked eye. It's yes. spiritual. It's prophetic. Yes. You're going to have to walk in the spirit this year. Amen. Listen, what God has already said in the past mm -hmm. will now be seen in your presence. Yes. What God has already shown. You're now going to speak it emphatically. So then, so then, we are now in the season of the convergence of the visual and the vocal. What you see, say it. What God said, see it. What you see, say it. What God said, see it. <laughs> God showed me something in uh, his word that I had not seen before. All right. In the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verses 2 through 3, we um, who are readers of the word of God, as we all are, you might be familiar with the scripture. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table, that he may run that readeth it. Yeah. yeah, verse 3. Right. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right. Right. But at the end, it, it shall speak. speak. We have entered into a decade in which vision has a mouth, has a mouth to speak. Um, what is the it? The it is what God has spoken over you. What God has poured into you. What God has prophesied over you. What God has purposed for you. So this this vision is not going to be able to lie. It, it cannot lie. Uh, though it tarry, it may have uh, tarried the last 
10 years. But though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. You have entered into the season in which you will behold it. All right. What is your it? What, what, what are you anticipating from God? You have now entered into the season where you shall behold it. it. You shall behold vision. Your vision is now speaking. I need you to get it. Uh, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Uh, and so we're going to write the vision, make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. Yes, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak. The vision is yet for an appointed time, at the end it shall speak. Okay, so now listen. You shall behold it. The word behold is simply just to see. It's not simply just to see. The word behold transcends the concept of mere sight and refers to the sight of something wondrous, yes. something spectacular. Yes. It means pay attention. Yes. All right. Behold. Yes. Pay attention. Yes. Behold. God is about to show us something miraculous, spectacular. Yes. Why is this important? Uh, it's important because God has permitted us to enter in uncharted territory. Where we are now and where we are going in this de in this decade is not where we've been. Come on, all right. Need you to get this. Need you to get it. Where we are now in 2020 is not where we were in the last decade. We have entered into a new, not just year, but a new decade uh, where God is going to give vision, sight, provision, but you've got to grab hold to it. Uh, God is doing something new, something spectacular, something fresh, something we've never experienced before, and it necessitates your full attention. All right. All right. How many of us enter into a new year doing the same thing that we did in the old year? My God, help us Well, we might as well be honest with God. Amen. 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 But God says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. What God did for us in the last decade was great. How many of you had a great year last year? We still need right. I mean, we had a great last 10 years. Uh, we're still here. We, we're still here. Yeah. Um, 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 but the vision is yet for an appointed time. Mm -hmm. How many of you had a vision from God? How many of you had a desire? Have a desire? Has God shown you anything? Yes. Yes. And it hasn't happened yet. Mm. Well, this is the decade. Y'all ain't happy enough for me. This, 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 is, this is the decade where we're going to behold what God has prepared. Wait, wait, wait. Now listen, we, we, you, you're going to have to grab stuff in the spirit realm because you may not see it in the earth realm. Come on now. You, you, you got to grab it in the spirit realm. You, you, you got to pull it in. The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it. What, what is the it? it it's vision. Yeah. 2020. Yes. It's, it's, it's vision. Yes. The vision is going to speak. Yes. Uh, uh, and so you have to be ready uh, because the vision is going to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Wow. Vision has a mouth. Yes. We, we are in the, the decade of the mouth. Yes. We pet. Now, if you don't believe me, look it up. You can look in the Hebrew. Amen. Go, go Amen. look it up. P-E-Y. P-E-Y. Yes. Okay? It means the mouth. Mm -hmm. 
it means that what you declare will be. Yes. What are you speaking out of your mouth? Yes. But more importantly, what has God already declared? Because that's what you want to align your mouth with. Yes. Yes. What did he speak already? Yes. What did he declare already? Now, I know that the last decade was pretty difficult for the majority of us. Well, well, I don't know about you. I'll just speak for me. <laughs> Anybody having trouble in the last, not the last year, I mean yeah. the last decade. Yes. All good. All good. Uh, what the 20, 20, 2010. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. 2010. Yeah, yeah, no. 2010. Yeah, yeah, no. 2010. Jesus. No. What? 2010, we were on fire for God as January 1 rolled in. Yeah, yeah. And around January 2021, we lost our bishop. My God. Unexpectedly. What in the world happened here? God, how did you let this happen? We're not ready. Nobody was prepared. I was at a basketball game, watching my son play in college. Got a phone call, Bishop Whitener passed. What? You have got to be kidding me. No, I didn't even believe it. No, 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 somebody else gonna give me a phone call because that cannot be true. We just saw Bishop. What, 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 what you mean? 2010, he passed. Okay, I'm trying my best to make it through that. 2011. God calls my mom home. My God. What in the world are you doing, Lord? Now, I don't understand this, God. Mm. And still don't. Jesus. But you don't have to understand everything that God does. And the sooner you understand it, you don't need to understand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to believe. Yes, and you just have to trust. Yes. Then you'll be better. Yes. All, right. All right. So then, so then, that was 2011. 2012. Lord have mercy. Uh, I was still trying to recover from 2010, 2011. Yeah. <laughs> 2013. My dad passed away. Oh what in the world, God? Aren't, what, what, what? What? Am I not praying right? Am I not living right? Lord, Lord, what is going on here? 2014. 2014. My husband decides to move to Phoenix, Arizona. Jesus. Uh, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> but when anyway, because that's what we're supposed to do. Amen. That's what you're supposed to do, wife. Yeah. That's, what, that's what you're supposed to do. But I didn't, it just didn't, it just, it just, it just didn't work. So, 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 so in 2014, uh, uh, things, things are just chaotic in my life. I, 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 I got to get out of here. Yeah. That's what I said. Call my sister on the phone. Listen, I, 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 I'm gonna have to come to Houston. <laughs> Listen, drove, drove, packed my car, and whatever I could get in my car. It's just a little car. Packed it up. I got to go. I said, sir, I don't know what's gonna happen to us, but right now I just gotta go. Maybe we can find our way back, but right now I gotta. Drove 20 hours to Houston. Since I got to come, I can't, I can't, I can't. And I was just thinking that maybe we can find our way back. That was 2014, well, 2015. Then in 2015, later in the year, I got divorce papers. 2016, I'm divorced after 30 years of marriage. Ooh. I don't even know where, what, what direction I'm going in at this point. I was married at 21. What am I going to do after 31 years of being married? What is this God? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I was like, ooh, I was in a whirlwind and didn't know what to do, couldn't catch my breath. And then 
my sister was going to this church and I went to this church. <laughs> and I said, God, what is this? Where am I going? But it was necessary for me. This church, listen, they loved on you like no other church. They, 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 they greet you at the door. They smiling. They love on you. And I needed to be loved yes. on and yes. left alone at the same Amen. time. Yes. Then, left alone and loved on. Yeah. Yeah. And so and so being there gave me time to get to get myself together. Cause yeah. my God, what in the world? My kids are gone. My my son had graduated, my youngest son. So I'm all by myself without my family. My my husband and children. What in the world is happening to me? What did I do wrong? That's what that's 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 what yes, God. So, so so where am I? That's 2016? Mm -hmm. Okay, 2017. Jesus, I don't even know what happened in 2017. <laughs> Everything was so blurry, right? My God! It was just so much going on that was wrong. But in the midst, have you ever been in a season where it just seems like everything is going wrong, but yet you're still, you're still making it. Yeah. You're still making, you're still breathing, you're still above water, you, you're still getting up. Yeah. And you're still pressing on, right? And then God will step in and just give you a reminder, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. and then now, oh Jesus, we made it to 2019. 2019. Listen, I'm so glad to be out of the decade. I don't know about you. I'm so glad to be out of that decade. And we have entered into a new decade. And you don't have to be happy. I can be happy all by myself. Because I know that this decade is the decade of the mouth. And this decade is that what I saw in the last decade, yes. you couldn't grasp it. Uh -huh. Oh, this is the season. Yes. 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 This is the yes. season where what I saw yes. is now going to be what I see yes. and what I experience. Is anybody happy about it? Yes. Yes. God, listen, listen, listen. A God has ushered us now into uncharted territory. Yes. yes. Where we are now and what we're going to go through and experience in this decade is not like any other. So please do yourself a favor and don't try to equate these steps now uh, based upon what you did in 2019. Please understand that this is all new. God is saying, I'm doing a new thing for you. I'm doing a new thing. It's new to you. It's really not new to me. It's just the time. For you to step into what I have already ordained for you, even before the foundation of the world. It's new to you. Yes. 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 It's not new to me. It's just my will. But now that I've stepped you through the last decade, I'm stepping you into this decade with some power. The Lord has taken us through enough in the last decade for you to understand that you have power to survive. That you have power to make it. That there must be something about your life that God wants to do because he would not have allowed all of that to happen. Jesus. Ain't nobody happy but me. But I'm happy enough for everybody. <laughs> so God, so God, so God now is doing something new, something spectacular, something fresh. Yes. Something we've never experienced before and it necessitates your full attention. Please. So God says, remember ye not the form of things, neither consider the things of earth. What God did for us in the last decade was great and powerful. Yeah. It was wonderful. He got us through. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us survived the worst. A decade filled with tremendous loss, disappointment. I don't know about anybody else. Anybody else experienced loss and disappointment in the last decade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disappointments and failures and transitions. Yes. Nevertheless, God yes. sustained us. Yes. Yes. I want somebody to shout me to that. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, uh, we have entered into an appointed time now. Uh, the year 2020 is an appointed decade in which your vision is speaking. 
Listen to what God says in Isaiah 43, 19. God says, behold, would you pay attention? Something wonderful is about to happen. Yes. Now, if I don't say anything else, I think you just should give God praise for just that. <laughs> wonderful is about to happen. I'm doing a new thing. I'm going to make your vision speak. Did you hear? God said, I'm going to make your vision speak. Not, not, not you. I'm going to make your vision speak. I, I, I. The vision is yet for an appointed time. I believe with everything in me that we are in the appointed time. Thank you. And because we are in the appointed time, God says, I'm going to make your vision speak. Now it shall spring forth. This is the appointed time. Shall ye not know it? It's going to be wondrous and it's going to be undeniably God. I will even make a way in the wilderness. Yes. It's a scripture. It's a scripture. Yes, yes. We are in uncharted territory yes, now. Yes, yes. Listen, where we are right now, we've never been before. That's we've right. stepped out of 2019 right. into 2020. We've never been here. Yes. Uh, I know things may seem like it's the same because it's only what the second day. Uh, but trust me when I tell you that it is not the same. Where you are right now is not where you were on December 31st. You better grab it in the spirit. Where you are right now is not. I will even make a way in the wilderness. We are in uncharted territory. But remember, remember, listen. That the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes, and the right. New Testament is the Old yes, Testament yes, revealed. Yes, right? Yes, yes. So when God says he will make even a way mm -hmm. in the wilderness, because that's what the scripture says, and he's going to make a way in the wilderness. When he talks about him making a way in the wilderness, it's uncharted territory where there are no familiar signs or identifiers. That's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please do not be afraid of being in unfamiliar territory. Yes. Yeah. It is designed by God. Yes. He does not want you to look back at the last decade to determine where you're going in this decade. Yeah. Please understand, there are not going to be the same identifiers, roadmaps. There's not going to be the same. That's right. But do not be afraid. Do, 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 not, do, not, do not, do not, do not, do not tell yourself, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. But remember, you remember, he will make a way in this uncharted territory where there are no familiar signs or identifiers. Mm -hmm. He actually prophesied of himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because in the New Testament, remember, the New Testament reveals what the Old Testament is saying. In the New Testament, uh, is revealed in John 14 that Jesus Where? is the way. Is the way. <laughs> so, so, so while he's making a way in the wilderness, yes. the way in the wilderness is Jesus. Yes. He's your way. Yes. So when you're walking through anything in the wilderness in 2020 or in this decade, please remember yes. Jesus yes. He is the way. Yes. If you stay in Jesus,
And then the scripture prophetically says, not only will God make a way in the wilderness, but also rivers in the desert. Isn't that what the scripture says? It says rivers in the desert. Well, well, Jesus said in John 7, 37 and 38, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me. As the scripture has said, why? Out of his belly shall go rivers of living water. <laughs> come on, that's Jesus. That's the promise. That's the revelation in the new from the old. So, 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 so God has sustained us and ushered us into the year of the whole. Yes. Listen, the year in which God is doing a new thing. Please pay attention. There's going to be greater demonstration, greater manifestation, better opportunities, greater platforms, higher spiritual dimensions, stronger prophetic utterances. Greater. 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 Everybody say greater. 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 We shall behold what our vision is speaking. Yes. Uh, thank you. Come on. Come on. Uh, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Uh, but it, the vision, shall speak. Now, I'm not talking about you just opening up your mouth. I'm talking about what God has destined for your life. It's going to speak in this year. The vision. The vision is going to speak. Did you know what the vision is? Did you forget? Did, did the last decade cause you to forget? Because sometimes uh, we can have stuff so heavy on us that we can't even remember. I remember my mother said, I can't even remember my own name. <laughs> stuff is heavy on us. Yes. Uh, the decade of the 70s in the Hebrew calendar. They, the, the, that decade was heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I had successive seasons of loss. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. It was hard making it through 2010 to 2019. I'm so glad I crossed yes. over. Because yes. yes. that season, mm -hmm. it was the I am season. Remember, it's a season of seeing. But that's all we did. We were able to see it, but not grasp it. Yes. Come on, in 2020, not only will we see it, we will grab it, and it belongs to y'all. Better reach up and grab everything that God has shown you in this season. It, 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 it's mine. Come on, it's mine. We shall behold what our vision is speaking. Yes. What is your vision talking about? But what is your vision saying? What? What did you forget your vision? Sometimes the weight can be on us so hard we we forget. But I encourage you to go back, spend some quiet time with God, and revisit what He told you. Yes. And revisit what He showed you. Yes. Because what He showed you is going to come to pass. Amen. Uh, God also told me that we have to stay full this year. Stay full, my Lord. All right. Mm -hmm. See, see, uh, the enemy likes to come in and disrupt all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he can't get you on your job, he's going to get you in your house between mm -hmm. you and your wife. He's going to mm -hmm. cause some friction with your kids. He's going to do something mm -hmm. to distract you. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, so, and so God said, this year you have to remain full. Mm -hmm. All right. Full. You cannot allow the enemy to deplete you of your faith to believe, oh. to see. <laughs> Amen. 2020. That. You cannot allow the enemy to deplete you. Uh -huh. You have to believe to. See. You have to believe to see. Yes. When you don't see, you have to believe to see yes. the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. So, so, so the enemy tries to distract us and and causes us to see problems. Uh -huh. Deficiencies. Yes. He, he tries to cause us to see all the wrong stuff. Right. Uh, but you got to believe to see the goodness yes. of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm happy all by myself. Hey! God also said that we have to stay full. We are going to behold new things. But we have to stay full. Full of what? Mm -hmm. Say, full say of you're full of it. <laughs> 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 full of what? Full of prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. You got to stay full. Come on. You got to stay full of praise. Listen. You have to understand that your praise this year is your weapon. And so when the enemy tries to come in like a flood, you have to use praise. Yes. Yes. That's the house of that. Read it. Yes. Read it. That they praised and didn't have to fight. Yeah. As a matter of fact, their praise was their what? fight. Yeah. That's, yeah. The fight. Yeah. That's the fight. So when the enemy tries to come in like a flood, open up your mouth and give God praise and confuse the enemy. Yeah. How can I put enough on them to cause them to sit down? Yeah. Yeah. That's what the devil will try to say. Yeah. I thought I put enough on them that they would not open up their mouth yeah. and try to testify about what God is doing. Yeah. You better open up your mouth. Yeah. The more he puts on you, the more yeah. you open up your mouth. Let the redeemed of the Lord say what? What you mean, so? It is. Y'all good preachers. Y'all good preachers. Say it is so. It is so. Uh -huh. We have to stay full of prayer. Hallelujah. How many of you pray in the morning? Yes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you better see God. Listen, listen. Please seek him early. Start off your day with prayer. Yes. Uh, our overseer told us that this morning on the prayer call. Can you please start your day? It just makes your day go better. It just makes and it arms you for the day. Yes. So when the enemy tries to come in, some stuff is just gonna repel off of you because you covered yourself in prayer. I covered myself in prayer this morning. Would you please back up off of me? Y'all think I'm playing. Y'all better learn to talk to the Talk to the devil because he understands. See, see, what you don't understand is that you you have more power than him. He understands yeah. that you have more power than him. So he tries to get you to see that you don't. He tries to confuse you. He already knows he's defeated if you exercise your power. But see, he gets you to a place where you just say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, no, sir. No, no, no. Not in 20. You better exercise your power. You have power, listen. The Bible says you have power over all the power of the enemy. So when he comes in like a flood, you come in like a flood. Come on. Woo. You better come back with it. But they call it a clap back or something. Like that. You better speak back to the devil. Because if you speak the word of God back to the devil, he has to buy it. Y'all know the devil ain't more powerful than God. Yes. Uh, please don't forget it. Okay, I just, I just want to. Did, did y'all know the devil ain't more powerful than? Yes. I just want. Did you, you know the? Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come yes. on. Uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was. So when you're speaking the word, you are speaking God in your situation. Is the devil more powerful than God? No. No, you better speak the word. So you have to be full of prayer. You have to be full of praise. You have to be full of faith. Woo! And you have to be full of expectation. Take a day. I'm full of it. Hey, I'm full of it. I'm full of prayer. I'm full of praise. I'm full of faith. And I'm full of expectation. I expect to see God do this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you cannot allow the enemy to control or restrict or restrict your mouth, not in this season. All right. See, he likes to take your breath away. Listen, he'll throw a punch in your gut mm -hmm. and take your breath. Anybody ever had the wind knocked out of you before? I had the wind knocked out of me. It's like you can't even utter a word. You, you can't even hardly, you can't breathe for a moment. Mm -hmm. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to knock the breath. Knock the wind out of you because if you don't have any breath, you can't speak. Come on. But this is the mouth of this is the year of the mouth. Yes. The decade of the mouth. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be necessary that you speak. Yes. And not only do you and will you speak, your vision. Yes. Will speak. Did y'all? Did you hear? Yes. Your vision. Yes, Lord. It. It. It's going to speak. All right. What is your vision? Mm -hmm. What is your ordained purpose? Come on. It's 
going to speak in this season. There are some things you're not even going to have to say anything about when you step into a room. Your vision's going to speak for you. Trust me when I tell you. You're going to be invited on some platforms not because you opened up your mouth, but because your vision went ahead of you and spoke. Yes. Please believe me. If you will stay in tune with God, he's going to have the vision speak for you. Yes. Stay full. Say, I'm full of it. I'm full of it. Come on here. I'm full of the word of God. Yes. I'm full of faith. Yes. I'm full of prayer. Yes. I'm full of praise. Yes. I'm full of expectation. Yes. I believe to see the goodness. Yes. yes. I believe to see the goodness. Now listen. Uh, I know that uh, sometimes we think that God is just going to do what he does. And that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I uh, I'm not sure where we where we really got that from, uh, uh, because <laughs> because God. because the Bible the Bible the God's gonna do some things on His own. We 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 have nothing to do with it right. but to believe. Mm -hmm. But my problem is is that sometimes uh, we say we believe. Okay. But God, did you know that God knows the truth? Mm -hmm. yeah. Even when you don't tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Woo, he still knows the truth. Right. Uh, and so, and so, when you say I believe, are you really telling the truth? Because, because trust me, the moment you say I believe, you're going to be tested and tried. Yes. yes. And uh, and how you respond to the test and the trial will really show if you believe or not. Mm -hmm. Now, because now listen. There are going to not, don't, don't think that 2020 and this new decade is going to be uh, um, uh, affliction free. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, I'm not trying to, to make you think that you're not going to have any struggle or any problem. I'm just saying that in the midst of the struggle and the problem, stay full. Yeah. Stay full. Stay full of prayer. Pray, saints, pray. You don't have to bow down on your knees every time. Can you just open up your mouth and pray? Yeah. Right yeah. down. Can you just when you yes. walk through the mall, yes. you can yes. still pray. Yes. When you when when you when you have to spank your kids, can you pray while you spank them? Yes. Still pray. <laughs> Bless this child, Lord, please, as I spank them. Oh, I pray that you would help them understand who they need. <laughs> Help me right now, Holy Ghost, not to kill the Lord. It's just my strength. Don't kill them, just make them. Just make them. They got a call on their life. They got a call on their life. And that's why the struggle is so hard because of the call. Trust me when I tell you. So the vision is yet for an appointed time. And the Lord has ushered us into the appointed time. Yes. Yes. This 2020, this decade, is the appointed time. It is the appointed time. You saw it in the last decade, but couldn't possess it. It seemed like it escaped you all the time. You almost had it. It just like slipped through your head. You could never really grasp it. Oh, but we are not in that season anymore. Crossed over, and the vision is speaking for you. If you will stay true to the vision, it will speak, and guess what? It will not lie. Mm -hmm. Though it tarry, the Bible says, wait for it, because it shall surely come. Do you believe? Yes. Canst thou believe that you have entered into a season of the mouth? Mm. Where you're not only declaring what you see, right? You're declaring what God has already said. Mm. Yes. So if you keep your ear to hear yes. to the mouth of God, you just repeat what he said. Yes. Whatever he said in your ear, can you speak that out of your mouth and don't be afraid to speak yes. it? It might sound crazy. Mm. I want you to sound crazy in this year. Mm. I want you to sound like you have, like, are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. 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 yes, I am. Uh -huh. yes. I'm very serious. Yes. That I am going to own this. Yes. That I am going to own that. Yes. That I am. Now listen, listen. I don't want us to get into a materialistic thing because that's not what this is all about. This is a dimensional.
build elevation and promotion in God. Yes. Dimensions. Yes. 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 Oh, good. Please. Please. Yeah. Please. Uh, it's not about the material thing. Right. Come on. But because you're going to move exponentially and dimensionally, the material things will come. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. They're a, a benefactor yes. of the progressive movement in dimension. Yes. That's it. Yeah. So don't get it. Don't go after the material thing. Mm. Go after God. Yes. Who has everything you need? He has everything you need. Yes. Right. Everything. So we have now entered into the year of the hope. Behold. You shall behold the wondrous yes. works of God. You shall behold what he promised you. You shall behold and your vision that he gave you is going to speak for you. All right. Speak it. Rehearse it. Yes. Walk into the car lot, the dealership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking. <laughs> just walk by what you want. Have it already anointed your hand. Mm -hmm. Just touch it. <laughs> I, I, I believe it. Okay. Now listen, I believe it. You got to claim that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is, yeah. please and please don't get caught up on material yeah. stuff. I'm talking about spiritual elevation and promotion. Yes. Because in this season, in this year, God is going to do miraculous uh, uh, with through and through His people. Are you? Are you? Yes. 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 I mean, are you? Yes. Yes. I, I just wonder, are you? Yes. Yes. Are you a part of him? Yes. Are you a part of him? Yes. Yes. Well, then listen, your 2020 is going to be spectacular and phenomenal. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have some disappointments. It just means that uh, your vision is going to speak for you. It just means that you're going to open up your mouth and you're going to uh, be full of faith. You're going to be full of expectation that the circumstances are not going to dictate your praise. Not this year. You know how we are. Well, everybody knows when you're going through something. <laughs> your countenance, your conversation. Lord, what happened to you this time? <laughs> Can you please put a smile on your face? Yeah, uh, 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 I went through a divorce after 31 years, but a lot of people didn't even know. My sister knew, and uh, people in my room, if they came into my room, because in my room, that's my own privacy. And the Lord and I had a lot of nights where we cried together. I just believe the Lord cried with me because I felt sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but when I stepped out, my head was held up. Yes. Trust me. Yes. Hold your head up. Yes. Hold it up all the way up. Yes. And if you need somebody to help you, then call me. Because yes. we, some of us, have been through enough that we can help yes. you get through yes. it. Yes. Anybody yes. can testify you've yes. been through yes. something. Yes. Oh, I'm going to go. It's time to go. I'm telling you, it's time to go. This is the year of behold. Yes. Say behold. Yes. Behold. God is doing a new thing. Amen. He's doing a new thing in yes. me. Yes. He's doing a new thing for me. He's doing a new thing through me. Yes. He's doing a new thing with me. God is doing a new thing. All right, I'm done.
word is. Behold! <laughs> All these things. <laughs> <laughs> but if you seek ye first, behold, from the kingdom of God, behold. In the book of Luke, chapter number 6, familiar verse number 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. We pray that it be used to thy honor, to thy glory. Bless the giver and those that may not have had to give, Lord Jesus. Lord, we know that through this seed, Lord Jesus, souls shall be saved. Because it is so. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you will do. Bless those, Lord. Bless their coming out and their going in. We'll thank you and we'll forever give your name great praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.
Amen. Let the seed that we have heard be planted on good ground. And as we get ready to go, we will declare, may the Lord God watch between me and thee while we may be absent one from another. May God bless those as they travel, Lord Jesus, safety over the dangerous highways. But most of all, Lord Jesus, let the vision speak. We pray and we believe on this day forward that it is so. It is so. It is so. In Jesus' name. Amen.